What's up guys, it's Pat and I'm doing a World of Warcraft money making guide and I'm going to show you guys how to buy and sell stuff on the auction house to make a lot of gold in this game. And one of the important things in buying and selling stuff is to really check the auction house all the time because you have to know what the normal prices are for stuff if you're going to be buying and selling them. And the stuff that's most commonly bought is usually the stuff that you're going to want to buy. And that's going to be stuff uh, like materials, stuff like ore, herbs, stuff that people have to use a lot of. So what you usually want to do is go through um, the auction house and check for prices that are a little bit lower than normal. And you can, even if you don't check um, all the time, you can find uh, some low prices anyway. So if you want, you might want to check something like even something low level usually is where people are going to put the prices um, a little lower than they should be. Something like copper ore. They want to go through these. And it's important to know what the lowest, what the normal prices are. 50 silver seems a little cheap, so those, so you want to go through all these basically. Check out all the prices. See if 50 silver seems low. Let's check 90, 76, 78, 1 gold. So 50 silver does seem a little bit low. So there's about about 20 there, and you'll make about 25 silver on each. Um, it's only about five gold or something if my math is right. But you really should just anytime you see anything at a lower price, it's just worth buying. So every every gold is good. So you should just buy up stuff like this and then resell it. Okay, guys. So I bought up all those, and I'm gonna resell everything at the end that we buy just to show about the prop you'd make. So you check the, check something else. It's easier just to, if you know the names because going through the whole list, if you just click on it and search everything, can take a while. So, okay, this looks low right here. 68 silver, um, set of four, uh, 10 ore. But you always should make sure because um, it really isn't too low. It's a little bit lower, so it might not really be worth buying at the moment. See, so that's why you have to check every single thing check something else. You really have to go through a lot of things. This could be a time consuming process, but sometimes you're going to find stuff at really great prices and and that's um why you should do this. So let's um take a look through this. And you see ones at 71, 70. And not every time uh, you go through these things are you going to find anything. And I'm just doing this, you know, on a whim. I haven't checked the auction house beforehand. So I'm just quickly showing you exactly what you would be doing to uh, make money. And to be honest, I've made a lot of money this way, especially on some of the higher level ores. Every once in a while, there's someone's going to throw on a bunch of ore, and I sometimes you might be able to make ten, twenty thousand gold, but you have to have you have to have like forty thousand gold to spend also. And you're going to even want to check the bar prices and stuff like that too, because sometimes you know you really should check the price of the most expensive stuff like elementium ore and stuff like that. Because sometimes there will be half price and you can spend 20,000 uh, gold and turn that into 40,000 within a week when everything sells. And that's going to be really your main source of making money. Alright guys, I found another one that seems to be way low priced. This uh, stack of 20 gold bars for 31 silver each is far lower than these should be. I mean, some of these are, a lot of these are a bit low. I'd say about one gold would be a normal price on these. But 31 silver seems real low. That one you want to make sure that you grab off this. These seem low too at about uh, about 44. Want to grab those too. So any profit here is good. So just make sure that you um, are checking carefully. Okay, guys, here's another one. Silver ore. And I know for a fact that silver ore is at least six gold on this server and this is where it's going to come in importantly that you do check often and know what the regular prices are so this is three gold profit per each and if you look at the other ones one sec go to the next page and the next ones are at 599 so it's obvious three gold uh, profit each on those here's another quick one fell iron bar selling about five gold cheaper than it should be just buy that up and resell it everything else seems to be um, Seems to be around normal price. He's at 680. So as low as seven. This seems low too, actually, about four gold. So buy those too. So that's another like 12 gold profit or something there. Guys, another good thing that you should at least check is um, usually bags. Because sometimes you'll see a bag selling for uh, 50, 75 gold cheaper than the rest of the bags, and that'd be a good time to buy. But, I mean, most of the time there probably won't be, but some, a lot. 
some of the time there will be especially at stuff like nether weave bags sometimes you might see a whole bunch of these selling for like seven gold and you just want to just buy all those up so it's just worth at least uh, going through and checking i mean you can't guarantee that you're gonna have a lot of um stuff every time to buy at a good price but you should always check guys i found a good example of what you could do on star rubies right here to make a decent amount of money and they all look to be about the same price 240 between about you know two and 250 most of these and then you'll see down here there's one for five and one's going for six and fourteen and this is the opportunity that a lot of people don't notice because everything seems to be priced correctly but you can really make a lot of money off this because the thing about selling materials like you know jewels and stuff and ore is because people need them so what you'd want to do here is you want to buy up every single one below five and there's a ton of them and that way you're gonna and then you want to resell all of them and I would suggest selling them one at a time like this because a lot of people some people only need like one or two so you're gonna make two and a half gold off each I'm not sure how many there are 30 or something maybe 40 if there's 40 you know that's you know that's 100 gold right there so it's important to, to notice things like this and these are a little harder to notice and that's why you're gonna see these opportunities more because most people aren't gonna notice them because lots of people buy and sell stuff on the auction house I'm actually gonna suggest buying the last one that's at five too so you can sell them all at um, $5.99.99 so they make an extra gold off each one found another good opportunity right here with shadow gems as you see they're at 122 150 and some at three but the majority of them are at six so you're gonna want to buy all of them up to six and this is all the stuff I'm gonna buy this is just for you know the guide I don't need to go through every single thing and I'll sell these and I'm gonna assume profit probably probably about 250 gold in the 10 minutes that I was taking looking through this and obviously you can make a lot more too there's luck involved in this some days you're gonna make you know just the thousand two thousand gold and that's just when you check periodically you know whenever you go to town which is usually the best way you don't want because it's not that fun to just stick at the auction house all day long but other days when you have some more luck and you're obviously gonna need money to do this but any amount of money is a good start for making some profit um, other days you could make 20 to 40,000 gold and I've had days like that too I don't usually do this, and I am a new character on this server, so obviously I don't have that much money. But yeah, I've made a lot of money um, doing this. I've I've had days where I've made like 40,000 gold, which is going to happen every once in a while. Every once in a while, someone's going to put up like 250 stacks of like elementium ore at like half price, and then you just buy every single one. Don't even worry about it that you have only like, if you only have like 500 gold left because it's all gonna sell it might take a week or two sometimes but you're making um, the you're gonna make 40,000 back off of it so it's worth doing okay guys so this is the stuff that um I purchased and I'm just gonna repost all this in the auction house at better prices for the increased profit alright guys I got everything up on the auction house that we bought now and a couple things I want to go over real quickly is that stuff like jewels usually sell best um, Singular, singularly because um, most people don't need too many of them so it's even if you have a bunch it's best to sell them one at a time because most people aren't looking for stacks of 20 on those same thing with um, certain bars sometimes it's best to sell them like this but these also could have been sold as a stack but the reason that I didn't was because I only had five of them and most people are looking for big stacks stacks of 20 stuff like that if I'm only selling it one silver cheaper then they're not going to want to purchase them just because just for because it's too uh, small of amount so you're gonna look for people who uh, are only want to, only need a couple so that's why I set them like this silver ores too is something that is a one of the most expensive ores for low level and most people don't need many of them usually they only need a couple for like a piece of gear they want to make specifically for themselves it's usually not used for leveling up your skill like most of these are although some people may use it so those are best off selling by themselves the gold bars stack of 20 someone's probably gonna need this stack of 20 so I sold them like that and the two left over you don't want to sell two at a time um, it's easier just to sell it like this and this is I've had best success selling like that and the ore or copper ore stuff like that always should be sold in bulk like this because people are this is the first thing you use to level up a skill people need a lot of it so sell it in bulk like that Anyways guys, hope this helps you uh, make a lot of money. One important thing though to remember is this is best used in combination with um, another money making method unless you want to stay at the auction house all day. It's best to um, maybe farm something, you know, go with a different money making method and then when you hit town, 
use this method and you'll make twice as much money. Anyways guys, hope that helped. Um, subscribe to my channel. See you guys.